If I say uh, four, does a picture come to your mind? Now, when I was in school, the picture that came to my mind was this symbol that that I saw in books for four. But I also thought of uh, maybe four pencils or four erasers or four elephants, some something for four of something. So I used to imagine it as four dots. And if you had told me uh, five, then I might have imagined uh, five as also maybe five dots. This was my way of imagining. this number picturing this number another way to do that is to arrange all of them from left to right starting from 0 i go 1 2 3 4 and i keep going and going and going and how far can i go i'll i'll can go forever I, i'll never reach a place where i say oh this is the biggest number i'm never going to reach that so i'll go forever and you can see that these are all whole numbers this entire family because i start from 0 and count forever these are whole numbers So what I'm really doing here is just arranging all these whole numbers in a line from left to right. So I can just call this my line of numbers. Line of numbers. So I I have to make sure that I don't miss any number. I can't just write zero one three five. It's not like that. I have to write all the numbers zero one two. So I have to keep doing plus one plus one plus one and keep writing. As long as I don't miss any number, and if I start from zero, then I get my line of whole numbers. Now this line of whole numbers uh, is just what we call a number line. Now it might sound all big and uh, new when you first hear it, but this is all it is. It is just a line of numbers. So you, we draw it slightly differently. We draw it like this. I'm just going to paste it here. So this is how you draw it. But this is the same thing. It starts from zero. This dot represents zero. It jumps plus one. So if you just add one to zero, you'll get one, and then plus one again, you'll get two. and this goes on now you can imagine your dots again over here if you want to zero has no dots one has one dot two has two dots three will have three dots and so on so to say that it goes forever we put a little arrow over here this arrow is to say that hey this does not stop with 8 it goes on but i'm too lazy to draw all of it so this is just to say that So this, what we have over here, is what we call a number line. And in this case, because it has uh, all the whole numbers, we might call it a whole number line, or a number line of whole numbers. Now, one thing I want you to uh, notice here is that as you go from left to right here, you get bigger and bigger. One, two, three, and so on. You'll keep getting bigger and bigger. So right is always bigger than left. I'm going to write that over here. Right. bigger than left so that's that's because of the way we have drawn it from left to right and one step will mean plus 1 one step to the right will mean plus 1 and one step to the left will mean minus 1 now you can do many things with this if you're wondering why this is useful you can imagine adding subtracting multiplying and all of it on this And as you play with the number line more, you will see that it's it's quite a bit useful. It's a quite a quite a useful way of imagining numbers.